still looks pretty decent. I mean, there's edible stuff in there. Well, this is day two of scouting. I went out with old Fumbles yesterday. Didn't video it, but you know, we found an area that wasn't bad, but I could tell I needed to get a boat in. So I came out here today with my buddy Seth. And we are gonna put the kayaks on and go and further explore some places. So this year, this area is completely flooded out and has been flooded since May. So it's gonna be a rough year, I think, here. But we're gonna work hard today to try to find some possible teal spots. And right now the lake is really up high. So as soon as the lake goes down, everything will change. So our goal right now is just to try to find maybe a teal spot or two for this upcoming teal season. I know I found one spot already yesterday with Fumbles. But... So I thought I'd bring you guys along today and kind of see our scout. I have to be a little bit careful to make sure I don't show too much of this area because I don't want the locals seeing what I'm finding. So I'll show you guys as much as I can, but I gotta be really, really careful that I don't show too much. This is our first big scout of the day. And we want to see what's in there. So Seth and I are going to put the old H12s on and we're going to go explore this back section. Oh, I'm excited about this. This is going to be fun. I'm going to be doing a review of this um, hard shell backpack from Banded. This thing is amazing. I'm going to be doing a review on it soon. Oh man, this works perfect on this little bag because I can just open this little compartment right here and just drop my camera right in here in the case. It's waterproof. Another compartment here with all sorts of pockets and sunglass case. It's just sweet. I'm in love with this bag. I can tell you that right now. Oh, to be back in the marsh again. It is about 80 degrees, so it is a little bit warm, I'll say. Like I was saying, what I want to find out is what is back in here. That's what I want to see. Because I think that there's a cattail hole there. And I think there's a cattail hole there. That's what I think. So I'm going to find out. Seth is actually my wife's cousin. Well, we're a little closer to that area. I'm certainly seeing this pinkish stuff is smart weed. And I need to ask my <clears throat> biologist buddy. about it and when the seeds drop and I just need to get more information from him about it. There's those cattails I was talking about. The place looks pretty cool. Let's get in deeper. Smart weed. Doesn't look bad to me. I don't know, sometimes the smart weed can get flooded too early and it'll ruin it. So I don't know if that's the case here or not. I don't know. I like this place. Well, we've got our first 2019 teal sighting. We flushed two little teal out of kind of right in here. So we have spotted teal. They have been spotted. I'll say after all the flooding and everything, this is a way better spot than what I expected to find. So I'm really, really happy about this. All right, here we are. This is location number two. And I've only hunted this place <clears throat> twice, I think ever. But there's some really good looking Shallows over here. I haven't had actually they look good from afar, but we're gonna go over and check them out and see what's over. There's a bunch of egrets over here. So hopefully 
there's good duck food over here and hopefully that's not going to recede and dry up when the river and the lake goes down. So really optimistic about this place here. A bunch of egrets in here. I don't know if they're cattle or snowy. I think the cattle egrets have yellow feet. And I believe snowy egrets have black feet, I think. Well, this place does not look yet how I hoped that it would. All the vegetation in here is just washed out from the flood. No seeds. So I don't know. We'll keep looking, but as of right now, this place does not look very good. All the, unless, it, unless the teal use these mud flats. We'll see. Tell you what though, on a good note, I did not know about this little hole right here. And this is all smart weed. If you look at that stuff, it's all washed out because of the flood. So there's no seeds on it. It's just worthless, I think. If I'm wrong, correct me. Um, but this hole is hard to find, and I did not know about it. And if this was all fresh, good smart weed, this is certainly a spot to remember for years to come, for sure. I mean, look at all, all the smart weed. So this may, spot may not be any good this year, but I'm certainly gonna keep it in my mind. Cause man, this is a cool place. It's a neat place. So not a total wash on scouting this spot. The nice looking little spot. Well, that is it for today. We found one spot we're really happy about. One spot we're unsure about, but very happy about for the future. And we got out in the marsh and played around. So it was certainly a lot of fun and I'll be hunting teal next weekend. So it's coming up soon. That's all I got.